good. Ready? Southwest Florida, you are looking live at the conclusion of a spectacle of huge proportion. The unity in the community basketball game took place here tonight at the Stars Complex in Dunbar, and it was a huge success. Great game. Right now, standing all around, we have our cameraman pan around for a second. You'll see people who are filing out, there's people who come, and just, just beauty in the community. And one of the things that make the Dunbar community, and particularly we're in the Stars Complex, so successful is we have people who are willing to come out and help. And these were the referees. They take all the flack from us, but they come out and command respect. These guys, we had some experienced referees here tonight who actually been refereeing for the long, at least 15 years or more. 20, 20 years, how many years you got in? 20 years, 20 years. Let's, let's get to know our local referees. What's your full name? Quentin uh, Anthony Reed, Sr. 20 years in the business? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, when we have these types of NFL players and celebrity type games that come out, what's it like for you to be able to be a part of that? I think it's a great thing, you know, because I did the youth football league, and it's a good thing. I've seen most of those guys that are in the league today that, hey, I, I, I coached a lot of them, and I ref a lot of them in high school basketball. Also, some of those play with my kids in high school football. Okay. Now, you only do basketball, or do you do football as well? I only do basketball. I can't do football, but I do basketball. My love is sport. Okay. Keeps you in shape, too? Yes, sir. Always, always. 51 years old. Hey, going did you, strong. Did you call it as tight tonight? as you would normally call a game? Well, in celebrity games, we mostly try to let them play, you know, they let the crowd get a, you know, play for what they see. So, hey, we try to let them get a little leeway, but other than that, hey, we just let them play and have fun, and that's what it's all about. That's great, man. Uh, now, you, you got 20 years in as well? Uh, about 17, but I've been playing all my life, so. Now, you, you and him work game, been working games, y'all uh, like two peas in a pot, right? We go back like four black ties, we deep. We've been in this game a long time. Tell us something, tell me somebody. let's get your full name. Rick Epps. Tell me some of the uh, games that you refereed and some of the celebrities that have been in some of the games. You refereed one with Deion Sanders in it, didn't you? Yeah, we go back to all the way to, um, I think, Bernard Edwards when Bernard was playing in the Arena League. So we go back a, a long ways in the community. But um, we don't do it for the celebrities. We do it for the kids. And uh, a lot of, we got a call today. Um, wasn't, I wasn't even expecting to do the game, but keep called and say he needed us, and we just jumped up and we came. He was on the, one side of town, I was on the other side of town. Keith called us, and Keith White is a very, just make this point clear, Keith White is one of the most important people in this community. Everybody needs to know Mr. Keith. And anything he needs us for, we'll do it. Celebrity games, youth league, whatever it is. I grew up in this community. I grew up in this, when it was direct, when it was Anderson Avenue. Go, I go way back. So doing this is just a part of me, part of my heritage. So giving back to this community is very, very important to me and my partner. We go back I'm glad you plugged uh, Keith White, because. He is the man and also my fraternity brother, Mr. White here at the Stars Complex. Uh, when we have events like this in the community, uh, positive events, everybody come out on one accord, what does that do for the morale in the community and people f just feeling good? You know, if, if he can pan over to those two police officers that are standing over there, it's very important because they get Let's to see take a faces, look at those police you know, officers. Go ahead. If you can just pan over to two uh, black, uh, a black police officers and a white police officer. That's what it's all about because they're just hanging around, but they're seeing faces and they're putting faces to names, getting to know the community. I think that's one of the most important things that's going on is that the community is coming together. The police officers, Sheriff Digg, the County Sheriff's Office, they're all coming together and support, but it's got to be positive things. Every time you hear something about the black community, it's negative, negative, negative Dunbar. And it hurts to me in my heart that we don't support our community the way we're supposed to. That's why these little events, you know, we don't get big turnouts, but we always get a good turnout. Mm -hmm. No matter what event we do, there's always a good, solid turnout. And it's not just little kids, it's moms bringing their parents. So I think it's very important that the moms are su supporting their kids. We just finished the youth league up here. There had to be at least 100, 100 parents and kids every Saturday morning and every Friday. So. That's very important for us to give back because these kids are the ones that's going to be taking care of us in and the I, next 20 years. I want everybody to know he used to have a little basketball game back in the yeah, day. Back in the day. Hey, let them people know I used to play a little ball, man. Yeah, he played a little ball, but, yeah, you know, like I ain't played we, no let, ball. we allowed him on the A-court every now and then when, <laughs> when we didn't have enough players. But back in the day, he always had a shot. I'm pretty sure he still got that. Though. Let me get back to your compadre here. Yes, sir. What are you seeing now in terms of fundamentals, the kids, compared to when you first started and to now, how has ba basketball has changed a lot? What are you seeing out there? 
Well, you know, first of all, basketball have changed a lot. You know, uh, we have a lot of people in the community doing a lot of things with the youth. Hey, Keith, hang with the a youth, second, uh, as uh, Rick said earlier, I won't, I won't um, get you here. that we um, have a lot of people in the youth, and they work with them a lot. And with the fundamental, the basis is the key to all success in anything that you do. So, I mean, if you take your time to, you know, teach the basics, you can do anything in life. So, you know, we, we always start with the basics. The basics is fundamentals that go with you throughout life, anything that you do. Do you still see youths who come up to you, now they're adults and everything, say, hey, man, you used to be my referee here. How that make you feel, man? Well, always. I get them to come up to me and say, Coach Reed, uh, hey, hey, you that ref, that ref me, uh, your partner over there, Rick. I mean, hey, it feels great. You know, like I say, we do it because of the love. Our kids played the game. And it's all about helping each other out. And it shows that we have a community that we all love each other. And it's not just about, you know, hey, destroying one another. We do love one another. Just some people show it in a totally different way. Man, this is so cool for me to talk to the refs, and they've they actually refereed some games that I played in back in the day as well. Uh, fundamentals, how are you seeing the game change over the years? Well, honestly, the fundamentals are lacking, mm -hmm. and it, and that's because of the way the game has changed. I mean, you don't have low post players anymore. Everybody wants to shoot a three. Okay, the coaching isn't where it's supposed to be. You know, everybody wants to blame the next person. That ultimately, nobody wants to take it. You know, take. Take, take advantage of the game that's being given now. But the, the truth of the matter is there's more kids playing basketball year-round now. Really? And more kids playing basketball than less kids on the street. And that's the ultimate goal, to get kids off the streets and have them positive, whether it be basketball, football, whatever, and the parents getting involved. So as long as somebody's on the court, they're not in the streets. Now, that's how I see it. Now, where, 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 I see you guys refereeing here. I see you refereeing. Where are some, I mean, you refereeing high school, middle school? Where, where are you refereeing? Uh, AAU, what are you doing? All, uh, all of it? Well, basically, we do it all. We do it all. Wherever you like you say, this is my backbone here. I'm his backbone. Uh, we travel all over the place just about, you know, and uh, we, you know, we try to stay, you know, not too far, but we, we do travel. AAU, uh, middle school, high school, so, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, sometimes we travel down to ING down in Sarasota uh, once in a while, but other than that, we haven't been down in a while, but we, we do do our thing. And I want people to know you guys got your certification. You just can't be walking up here referee. Oh, yeah. Talk you know, about getting those certs. We, we, we can be ghetto when we have to, but we are professional officials. So, I mean, and you have to be a professional when you're on a basketball court as an official. Because everybody's going to have to say, okay, at the end of the day, it's somebody else's fault. And we got to be man enough to say, okay, I may have blew that call, I may have blew that call, but at the end of the day, we're weapon in the game as frail as we possibly can. And it works out, you know. It's a lot of positive and a lot of negative, but I'm willing to take the negative and the positive just so we get a better game, just like the game tonight. What do we have in the pipeline? We got some young black officials in the area who you guys have mentored and got them in the system. Well, we have a lot. Of, we have some. Uh, we still working on, you know, getting persistent with more coming in to the uh, to the association. But uh, we we have some. We don't have many, but we you know we doing what we do and we do what we do best. You can make a nice little piece of change refereeing too, can't you? Not really. <laughs> man, come! I thought you were gonna say man. You, yeah, nice. you know we do okay, but this stuff we do this stuff for free. <laughs> um, the 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 youth leagues. Okay. We do for a small amount of money. You know, it, it, you know we get paid professionally. Which is decent money, but and, and people say, well, you get paid to do this, you get paid to do that. But at the end of the day, if you didn't love refereeing, didn't love being a part of the game, then no sense getting involved in it because it, it won't, the money wouldn't be worth it. Man, I'm telling you, man, I got the best job in the world. I got a chance to talk to these two legends. You see people turn the lights out. They're ready to get Lee Fitz live out of here. Stars Complex is closing down. This has been a treat for me. I've interviewed thousands of people over the years, but to sit down and talk to these local uh uh, leaders in the community and role models to two referees here that I've been seeing refereeing for at least the past 20 years right here coming out working with the youth right here at Dunbar and, and throughout uh, in the Stars Complex and throughout the uh, Fort Myers area has just been a treat. So, this is, uh, so we'll be right back with more on Lee Pitts Live on Fox 4. Thank you Mr. Pitts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.